Business Bites with Kay Chohan. Hello and welcome once again to our monthly edition of Business Bites. You're listening to Kay Chohan. This is the fifth edition of Business Bites since the launch of Wandsworth Radio in January and so far it's been a great opportunity to find out on your behalf what's been happening with Wandsworth Business, the startups, the events, the issues and challenges facing local businesses and of course people behind those businesses. This month the council is very keen to ensure that it powers on with its campaign to promote its series of enterprise workshops which start on June 30th. In an exclusive interview with Steve Diamond of the Council's Economic Development Unit, I'll be finding out how business will be benefiting from the £2 million housing bonus. Later, I'll be finding out how Wandsworth businesses handle the elevator pitch when it comes to promoting their business at a networking event and what impact, if any, it has on generating new businesses and affecting business reputation. But first, I catch up with Wandsworth Chamber of Commerce members and the crew room at the Putney Embankment, where I find a few of them taking up paddleboarding, all in the name of getting fit for business, and of course, a little networking on the side. Wandsworth Radio! Wandsworth Chamber of Commerce CEO Steve Pinto and Kate Giles of Sportswear Retailer Crew Room have hatched a plan to get business owners fit for business. Every last Tuesday of the month, Chamber members have the opportunity to get into a sport like paddleboarding and network with other members. I catch up with the duo. Here is Kate. Um, the Get Fit for Business campaign was when um, I guess Steve and myself, Steve Pinto from uh, ones with Chamber of Commerce and myself were talking of new ideas of how get, getting businesses together because we're based, based down here on the River Thames we thought there's no better way first one just kicking it off with stand-up paddleboarding you get really relaxed you chat to you chat to each other and then you get to know know each other so much better than you sometimes can when you go to a formal business meeting so we're going to see how hopefully I mean today looks like it's, it's going to be pretty promising and then we're going to start building on the stand-up paddleboarding to actually then having other kind of events like you know touch rugby and all those kind of things so yeah it should be pretty good I guess uh, with some business owners they're, they're kind of constantly working 24 7 it's like trying to switch off do you, you think it's important that people make time for you know getting fit and looking after their health yeah it's a combination I mean I'm the, um, one of the most guilty of, of these as well of not making enough time for myself to actually be active but the other thing I've actually realised as well as a, um, as a business um, individual, also that you kind of need to lead by example. So if they actually see the boss and all the other directors in the business going out there and so, you know, doing stand-up paddleboard, the effect for, for that should be that actually other people in the office would then start to also become more active. Like even the basic things, going, going out at lunchtime for a run, then straight off to work, going out with a couple, a couple of workmates for a run, a cycle, paddleboarding. And it is a really important thing because so many days a year are actually lost anyway from, well, sickness. And it's so much better, obviously, to be healthier. And that's kind of the, the reasoning behind it is that altogether you have a much more productive work staff if they're fitter. So networking is kind of good because, like, you know, you always get to meet some people you know and then there's drinks and conversation flow so you so hopefully the sport in itself won't be a, a distraction from the business side oh, well, maybe it, yeah well I hope it's a total distraction from the business side actually <laughs> um, yeah it should be that because it should be the, the, I mean you're always predominantly you're always going to do business with people you like um, so this is the best way to really find out if you actually get on with with other, other people as well and we always found that, you know, from that, that rowing background as well, you know, you've made the friends, you've made some of the best friends of your life because you've been in that sporting environment, training with each other. And, you know, we all, we all do business with each other as well because we do know each other very well and we all know that we're very reliable. So the main thing of it is to sometimes not, in the, especially in the first session like today, isn't really to talk m- much about your business. It's like to say, it's the next one to be, right, OK, I'll see you again in a couple of weeks' time. So it's a, it's a real progression of you actually getting to know each other. Yeah. Uh, and then clearly you'll start to uh, work with each other, recommend other people. Um, that, that, I, mean, I think that's, that's a much better way than sort of maybe just having drinks in a stuffy room, having with name badges on. This one's definitely not one to have your name badges. It's one to really laugh at each other. You know, someone might fall in. 
that's kind of quite good fun. So, Steve, can you tell me how you got into all this paddle boarding malarkey? Well, I haven't got into it yet, but um, it's one of my ambitions to introduce sport networking for businesses in Wandsworth. And we had a meeting with the crew room, and um, it just came out of an idea. Look, let's try paddle boarding for the first session. And so do you think this will um, enable members to get to know each other better in this environment as opposed to the normal networking situations? Well, normal networking, you know, it appeals to some people, uh, it doesn't to others, but with, with networking through sport, you've got that instant common bond. You know, if you're falling in the water together, if you're playing tennis or badminton together, you've got the competitiveness, but then you've got the fun afterwards. So I think through networking through sport, you can develop that rapport with someone so much faster. And in general, you know, you tend to do business with people that you know, like and trust. So it's almost like an accelerator. So besides paddle boarding, uh, is there going to be opportunities for other types of sports uh, to network after? Yeah, we're talking to other clubs around Wandsworth Borough. Um, In particular, my favourite sport is tennis. So I'd like to get that kicked off this summer. But also badminton, um, possibly croquet. Uh, if I can talk the Roehampton Club into lending us their their beautiful courts. Um, And I'm open to any suggestions. If anyone has uh, a sport that they'd like to bring a group together with, you know, we're not trying to make these expensive, make money from them. They're all cost neutral. Hopefully they'll all be free if we can get a little bit of sponsorship. But the main idea is to bring businesses, their employees, their family and friends together. So... One, you can develop those relationships much deeper, but also to to introduce businesses to new sports and get them thinking about um, how fitness can make you more productive um, in the in the business environment. So, will you be having a go? I'm really looking forward to it. I am so excited about getting on that paddleboard. I'm not the best size for paddleboarding, but hey, you know, um, I don't mind falling in. Uh, My name's Nicole Payne, and I'm the owner of Live Free Chiropractic and Wellness, and it's just on Putney Bridge Road. So you're here today to try out the paddle boarding. What, what made you decide to take the plunge? Um, never tried paddle boarding and thought it would be a good way to network and meet other people as well as uh, try something new. Have you tried um, any other sports? I mean, you look quite fit. Yeah, I'm, I do a lot of ultra running and triathlons, Ironmans, things like that. Um, I've been doing CrossFit lately, but I've never been out on the water uh, in the Thames here. So this will be a first. And in terms of networking, do you think that there's going to be a lot of business talk after taking part in paddleboarding getting wet few drinks i think it's good um as a healthcare center obviously people get injured doing sport and things like that so it's a great thing for us to promote people doing health and wellness and also yeah it's a good opportunity to have a laugh and have a chat about businesses in and around wandsworth and putney i'm Anne wright um from wandsworth chamber of commerce and i've just been paddleboarding for the first time on the taster and it was much better than i thought it was going to be i felt far more Secure. I thought I was going to get a drowning, but I didn't. I got there and back without getting wet, apart from my feet. Well, um, I, th- I saw you didn't stand up, though. No, but there was. Um, I decided the first time, if I'm going to go in, I'd rather go in somewhere other than the Thames, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that said, I'd definitely try again. Got some confidence with it now, so hopefully, yeah, next time be really good. Yeah. Okay. Well done. Thank you. So, Steve, how did it go with the paddle boarding? Did you manage to stay up? Yeah, it was absolutely terrific. And the, the first paddleboarding session, we had um, eight beginners, and only one person fell in, but she was out within two seconds, really, back on the board. And, uh, you know, combined, we had about three hours out there on the water, and no further mishaps. But I was surprised, really, that the Thames water was quite warm. I was quite looking forward to falling in. It was really enjoyable. Business is sort of broke down barriers immediately. It was great networking afterwards. And it's going to be the last Tuesday of every month. So come on, businesses, come along and have some fun. It's, it's a great sport to try. It's so much easier than you think. And the, and the people at the crew room, are absolute, and the instructors from Active 360, are absolutely fabulous. If you want to find out more about getting fit for business events, go to the ones of the Chamber of Commerce website. Business Bites with Kate Johan.